Hello guys, in today's video we are going to share with you our updated camping morning and night routine. Last time we shared our campground routine on the Camino de Santiago, but as we figured it is quite different from the times we hike and camp in the wild, this time we are going to show our real wilderness camp morning and evening time with the detailed showcase of everything we do in the order of appearance. We hope you find it interesting and amusing to watch. And let us to begin! We'll start from the evening this time, when we already finished our trail and are searching for the place to camp. It is quite a challenging task sometimes to find a flat spot and secluded enough at the same time. Every day is different and some days it's easier than others. But the right place is very important for the good night's sleep and efficient rest, so we always take it seriously and sometimes have to wander quite a bit away from the trail. Also it's important to keep in mind the proximity of water source for resupplying. Most of the times it is a deal breaker for us. We normally collect our water beforehand in two of our water containers, but if the river or water source is close, we do it right at the place. We always filter the water for drinking. When we think we have found a potential place, we take off our backpacks and just walk around looking for the best spot. A good technique to find the right spot is to put your mats onto the ground and lay down on them in order to check the angles of the slope and whether it's comfortable or not. One thing we started doing with our new freestanding tent is to lay out the ground sheet first, insert the pole construction so that it will be possible to move it, and then lay down right onto it. Making sure your head stays up in relation to your feet is very important as well as not having the bad side inclines or bumps under the base of the tent. Sometimes it is quite hard to understand from the first side, so it is always better to check it well. When we have decided on the place we stop at, we set up a tent right away and store our backpacks inside, so that in case if the weather gets worse, our things would be safe and dry. Always set up our tent with a fly sheet on it for the same reason of the unexpected weather changes at night, but also we like to feel more secluded and protected even though these are only the extra tent walls. However, on the days when we decide to take the warm shower, we do a different setup using only the poles, fly sheet and several packs. If you are interested in seeing our detailed shower routine in the woods, we have a separate video for it that we will leave on the screen so you can go and check it out. But here we're going to just briefly mention it. At the same time we heat up our water using our wood stove so that we don't use up our gas fuel. I prepare our clean clothes in a bag and take out our solid soap too. We pour the water into the pouch and use its valve as kind of a shower faucet. We can call it our luxury on the trail as it feels so nice and wonderful after we were hiking for the whole day being able to wash off all the sweat and dirt and feel quite a bit more refreshed only after taking the shower. We rarely do it every day though, because sometimes when the weather is not that hot, it is not necessary and also when we come late to camp, it is not possible. But once in a couple of days, it is a must for us. Afterwards, I do my usual skin and hair care routine, which consists only of applying the face cream and brushing my hair, making it into a simple braid to prevent it from tangling. I always take a moisturizer suitable for my face and at least one flat hairbrush that is very light but very necessary for me. Then if we have enough daylight left, I like to do my simple stretching routine outside, trying to tackle all the muscle groups and stretch all the body. We actually posted several yoga stretching routines by now on our channel, so if you are interested in that, you can check it out. But basically I use the combination of different yoga postures, which I do slow and hold each one for a minute or so, concentrating on releasing my lower back and leg muscles. If we stretch on time and it is getting dark, I still try to do at least a couple of stretches inside the tent before bed, because I find that this way I don't get that sore muscles on the next day. Meanwhile we start cooking our dinner. 
When we have more time and the weather is nice, we use our wood stove for that. And we quite like it, even though it is a bit slower than with the gas stove, because this way we can save up our fuel and it becomes very important on the wilderness hikes when you don't come across many villages on the way. We also have separate videos sharing how we cook our meal on the wood stove and how we use it in detail as well. On the days when we hike till the dusk, have no powers or when the weather is bad, cold or rainy, we use our gas stove. It is faster and less hassle and also we can cook on it inside the big vestibule of our tent that protects it from wind or rain. We like to stir the wedges we have or dehydrated tomatoes with mushrooms before adding grains. They make the meal more nutritious and saturated. Usually as we take different cereals and grains and always have a reserve of it with us, we cook different combinations of it like rice and buckwheat, whole wheat and oats, quinoa and bulgur and so on. We like that normally all those grains can be combined together and it always makes for a bit different taste this way. On some days we would have our very quick meal like mashed potatoes that only need to be added to the boiling water. We always take about 1 liter of water and around 500 grams of grains for cooking. Because then we divide this meal into three and have part of it on dinner right away, the second part on breakfast the next morning and all is left we eat during our lunch the next day as well. This way we always have something solid to eat and don't have to worry about cooking every time. So we add our turmeric, curry, oregano and a bit of pepper, spice mix to our meal as well as a bit of salt. And you can find your own favorite combination of spices. It makes the food taste so much better and we can't imagine our life without them. Also always add in some olive oil for some fats and better taste as well. If we have the fresh salad and tomatoes, we also like to cut them into the meal. We are the cheese lovers as well, so whenever we have this luxury product, we always add it too. While our meal is cooking, we start to take out our things and camping gear and put everything inside the tent. We do start inflating our sleeping beds and pillows and taking out our sleeping bags so that we use the time efficiently and when the meal is ready, our place to sleep is all set up. We do like to connect our sleeping bags together so that we have more space and warmer at night. Then we put our warm clothes on like fleece pants, shorts, socks and even hats if we know it's going to be cold at night. I like to sleep in my leggings always, but when it's colder I put on the fleece pants as well. Basically the temperature outside tells us how many warm clothes we need to put on, but also as we don't like to get up at night, we do it in advance even if it's not that cold in the evening. I like to take some notes on the phone about the day we had and all our impressions while they are fresh. It is very useful then when we are putting it all together in a trip report blog post on our website. By that time normally our meal is ready to eat. When we have our dry homemade bread with us, we accompany our meal with it. We use only one pot for cooking and eating from on our hikes because the separate containers take space and also it is simply not convenient to use it and have an extra thing to wash. We're having our dinner usually inside the tent, but sometimes we like to stay outside too if the weather is really nice and it's still not dark. We do try to finish all our chores by that moment and have time to enjoy the meal. After the main meal we like to have some cookies, chocolate, nuts and a like for dessert. We don't like to use the flashlight at night as we don't want to be seen from the distance, so it's another reason why we try to finish everything till the darkness. Also it's always better to go to sleep earlier when the sun goes down, so that you can wake up earlier the next day. When we are done eating we are finally ready to go to sleep. Before that we always brush our teeth and then already in the sleeping bags we usually look at our plan for the day ahead, checking the points we need to visit and stop at and overall the difficulty and elevation levels. 
If needed, we change our plans as we go if we realize that the trail goes more difficult than expected or we decide to take another direction. Also, if we have the internet signal, we check the weather forecast of the next day. Sometimes we save the screenshots of it for several days ahead in case we won't have any internet access. After that we usually have a little chat and talk about the day we had or other random things before we fall asleep. Recently we've been enjoying falling asleep with the owl sound at the start of the night and it gives us a signal that it's time to sleep and sounds like a lullaby to us. Our morning routine takes much less time than the evening because choosing a spot, setting up a camp and cooking takes most of the time. Normally, with the first rays of light and the birds singing, it is already hard to continue sleeping and if the night was fine and we slept well, we wake up easily. Sometimes the wind, cold or uneven ground make it a disturbing night. So in the morning, the first thing we do is to stuff our sleeping bags into their sacks to get them out of the way. Only if it's really cold, we leave them unpacked until we get out of the tent. A year ago we learned to stuff the bags instead of rolling them, because it is better for the longevity of the bags and it actually turned out to be even an easier way to store them. Then we wash our faces with the cold water from our pouch to help us wake up a little bit more. I put on my moisturizer and detangle my hair with a brush before putting it up into a simple or braided ponytail. It is my quickest go-to hairstyle on the trail. Meanwhile, Dima is packing our sleeping pads, deflating and rolling them into a sack. Then we usually have our breakfast meal that is left from the night before cooking. Sometimes we heat it up on the gas stove quickly when it's cold outside, but usually we have it as it is. We never skip the morning meal. It gives us a boost of energy and calories to start hiking. As always, we finish it off with some sweet snacks. Again, when the weather is warm, we like to stay outside or having our fly sheet off to enjoy the nature surroundings. Then we pack all of our stuff left inside the tent into our backpacks. It goes on quite fast as we already know what things goes where. When we first started in hiking or when we have a new backpack, it is quite a bit slower. So it is always a good idea to practice packing several times before going on a hike. If you are interested in how exactly we pack our things, you can watch the what's in our backpack video that we have on our channel. We take our backpacks out of the tent and roll up our mats, making sure that there are no things left inside the tent body. We brush our teeth using the water container again. I like to have a little bit of warm-up routine before starting the trail. So I do some exercises and yoga postures, mostly focusing on my legs and knees. I feel like being warmed helps to get into the hiking pace faster and also prevent any injury if you have to do a challenging part of the trail right away. At the same time Dima starts to pack up the tent. As we shared in previous videos, we learned to store different parts of the tent in separate bags. So the fly sheet, poles, bags and ground sheet go in one bag and the tent body into the other. Applying the sunscreen onto our face, neck and any open parts of the body. Very important to remember reapplying it during the day too. 
Then we finish packing our backpacks, storing the tent, compressing everything together and attaching the mats to it. Very important to distribute the weight evenly inside the backpack, so that you don't feel any discomfort when carrying it. Also when putting the backpack on, pulling up and tightening the straps, so that it feels comfortable and more like a continuation of the spine. Before leaving the place we always check the whole spot where we camped for any things left on the ground and also any trash that may have fallen out. Leaving it the same as before we arrived. And then we are finally ready to get on the hiking path and hit the trail. That was all of our wilderness morning and night camping routine. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, as it will help a lot for our video to rank higher on YouTube, so that it will be shown to more people. Leave a comment below sharing your morning and night routines and what you do differently, we'd be curious to know that. Don't forget to subscribe for more hiking inspiration and hit notification bell to never miss a new video from us. Have a great rest of your day everybody, and we'll see you very soon on the next video. Bye!